Voicemail allows a user to store up to 30 minutes of voicemail messages comprised of up to two minute long segments, as well as upload greetings and create distribution lists. Users also have the option to have their messages delivered to a specific email address in the form of a WAV file. In the following section, I will show you how to set up and retrieve your voicemail messages. You may access the voicemail section of the subscriber portal under the settings tab. You must first select when you would like incoming calls to go to your voicemail. Next, you may select whether to have your voicemail messages forwarded to an email address via unified messaging, which keeps the messages on the network, where you can access your voicemails from your desk phone, dial in future control voice portal, or your email. Or instead, just forward them directly to a desired address, which makes that address the only location to access your voicemail. Next, you will want to click on the voicemail greetings button. Here, you may choose to use a system standard greeting, or you may upload your own personal greeting. The subscriber portal also offers visual voicemail. This is located in the messages section under the account tab. Voicemail also allows you to configure up to 15 unique distribution lists. These distribution lists allow you to record a message and send those messages to one or more telephone numbers. Also, in case you forget your voicemail PIN number, there is an option in the subscriber portal to reset your PIN. To access your voicemail from your desk phone, you will first want to dial star 98. When prompted, enter your voicemail passcode. If you have not changed the default passcode, it is 8642. To learn more about this or other products or services, please call us or visit us at Logix.com.